Hey everyone, um, another question came in. This, by the way, is video number three of the video experiment. Um, if that doesn't make any sense, just watch back at the other ones. Uh, so I had another question come in. What's all this cigar box guitar nonsense? What's all that about then? Well, uh, okay, so um, about a year ago, one of my students showed up for his lesson with this uh, cigar box guitar. Um, and um, I'd seen them before, you know, I knew a little bit about them, but I'd never had a chance to play one. And um, I'd seen the C6 Steve with something like that. And um, so anyway, this kid wanted me to, I'll give him a, I'll give him a shout out. This is, um, this is you I'm talking about, Danny. Um, he wanted me to help him learn a few bits and pieces on this new guitar, which um, um, a gentleman whose name I'm embarrassed to say um, has, um, has escaped me. Uh, this gentleman had built this guitar um, as a hobby thing at home and, um, and had passed it on to Danny and the gentleman has recently passed away, sadly, but um, yeah, Danny wanted me to help him learn some cigar box guitar stuff and I, and I kind of had no idea what I was doing. So uh, there and then in this lesson, we just kind of looked up some uh, cigar box licks on YouTube. And um, so I kind of learned a bit about it on the spot. And so I was able to show Danny a few licks he could go and practice. And, um, and so this kind of sparked my interest off in cigar box guitars and um, so I started looking at them you know as you do um, seeing how much they were and what sort of different kinds they were and how they were played what the tuning the different tuning is all about and stuff like that and um, so eventually the missus bless her went and bought me one of these um, one of these cheapo kit things to just to try it out to get started with now quite a lot's been said about these things online particularly on on youtube um what was it called the, the box is still over there the um the blues box guitar it's kind of advertised that it's a kit but it's not really a kit as such it comes more or less assembled but basically, for anyone who knows anything about cigar box guitars, um, they will know that the construction of a, of a CBG is a very simple thing. And that, that's the whole idea. Because these things were made very cheaply by people who couldn't afford um, to buy proper instruments. So, they'd take a cigar box and stick a piece of wood through it and... Uh, by one means or another, nails, bolts, just making holes in the wood, um, etc, etc. They'd put some strings over and um, and there you have it, you know, they'd have a guitar. Now, this is kind of a mass production thing. It's not a real cigar box, uh, but it is a cardboard box that's somewhat similar to what a cigar box would be. Um, and um, the wood, now if anybody knows about the construction of, of cigar box guitars, they'll know that usually this piece of wood here, kind of um, as it reaches the body, it usually sort of dips and goes back up at this end. That's a dreadful explanation, but I'm no woodworker. Um, whereas this one is one piece that runs right through. It's not fretted, these are just lines so basically it's a fretless instrument um a bolt for the uh for the where the nut would be on a normal guitar three actual cheapo tuners um and um it is electric when it comes but a, a kind of completed constructedness which basically just involves um putting the strings on and they're not really like I say it's not really a kit at all um, the weak spot of this of this product which retails for about 30 35 quid or 
dollars or whatever. I don't think there's much difference. So it, it's next to nothing really to get started. So I don't, I mean, the, the masses of criticism these things have suffered online, I think is pretty unfair. I'll come more into that in a moment, but the weak spot of this guitar was the electronics. Um, it just had one of those dreadful little tacky piezo um, pickups inside, attached to the inside of the box, and um, and it, it was really, really difficult to get any volume out of it without it feeding back. I couldn't use it um, live with my band, so I decided to do something about it. Um, now I had this electro acoustic guitar that was broken kicking about so uh, And it wasn't fixable so I smashed it up and I ripped the bridge and the pickup and the gubbins out of it um, And then I cut open the back of this box because like I say it's not an actual box um, So it wasn't like, like a most cigar box guitars you can actually open the box and get to the electrics inside if you need any repairs, modifications or whatever. On this, um, you have to take a Stanley knife and cut the box. Um, so I did that and uh, ripped out this dreadful cheapo pickup and just installed the, um, installed the electrics from the broken acoustic guitar. And um, I kept the bridge from the guitar as well because another weak thing on on this was that um it was impossible to get the intonation on it anything like right so my apologies for anyone who's watching who doesn't know about guitars and intonation and stuff so don't worry about it just means it's impossible to get the thing in tune all the way up the um, all the way up the fretboard so i thought right well i'll leave that pickup in this bridge and keep the bridge because this i can actually pull further back um, which was the problem and just installed it in this thing and um, once I've done that it actually sounds it actually sounds pretty good so then all I had to do was um, try and learn a few things on it um, it's these things are they're a lot of fun to play and this cheapo thing yeah whilst it's not you know the most fabulous instrument in the world it got me started and for the money I think it's I think it's fair enough I've actually um, I have actually taken this out and played it in front of people and with the improved pickup it's um, it does sound well it does sound well amplified so um, how does this cigar box guitar work there's lots and lots of different things you can do with it and I, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert on cigar box guitars I kind of have a, a lot left to learn myself but for any guitar players out there this is how the standard tuning goes on because again you can do lots of different things with the tuning um, but the conventional way if there is a conventional way is to tune this thing your bottom string is a G and then you've got a D in the middle and then another G so any guitar players out there um, will uh, click on straight away. Basically, you've got, if you strum across, you've got a power chord. And um, so, hence the slide. If I slide up to where a fret would be if it had them. I fret across all three strings and play the power chord. So, obvious riff quoted there. Um, so here's just a quick example, one thing you can do with it. If you think of it as like um, when you're playing a rhythm, um, it's because this this thing lends itself very nicely to blues. So imagine uh, you're playing a blues song. Blues songs tend to kind of have this shuffle feel thing. Um, and 
So what we're getting out of this guitar is, bear in mind, this is not a fretted one and the strings are too far away from the fretboard uh, to really press down and fret anything. And believe me, if you try to on this particular model, it's well out of tune, it just doesn't work. So imagine we divide the strings into two and um, then we can kind of get that shuffle feel going on by thumb and the low string and then pluck the other two with these two fingers. And so on and so on. Now, if I uh, if I do that, and then put some slides in between, we get this really uh, pretty cool sound going on. What was that thing I was doing earlier? So, um, there's going to be more videos about cigar box. Oh, before I go, um, I, I, I should have mentioned as well. Okay, two things I must not forget. It's my age. Right, so in this kit, um, I didn't get this sticker or uh, this, uh, my logo sticker. But um, what you do get is you get a really helpful book that's kind of a cool introduction to understanding how cigar box guitars work and a CD that accompanies with it and you get this slide so like I said earlier for the money I think this is pretty cool um, now I'm um, I'm stomping on this stomper from Urchin Percussion my very good friend Mr Tim Gillespie has his own company making um, handmade percussion instruments I'm interfering with the percussion instrument down here on the floor go away Tamri um, honestly, professional to the last uh, yeah he makes his own handmade percussion instruments and they are stunning they sound absolutely fabulous shut up Tamri this thing is not um, it's not expensive and um, I really want to do a video to help promote this for Tim, but um, it's kind of difficult figuring out how do I do a how do I do a video that um, demonstrates a foot stomper real well, you know? Because you just sort of kick it, and it makes a thump noise, and that's kind of it. So um, yeah, now that that just makes it sound really unexciting now, but it's very exciting because it's so good um i'll tell you something else about it right now this one i believe i think is it, it's birch for anyone who's never used a stomper before all it is it's kind of a, a wooden box with a pickup inside it and you plug the mic directly into it so um you kind of you kick it and let me put this thing down right so you kick it and it makes a nice lovely kick drum kind of thump now, I have problems with my feet. I'm not going to go into the um, boring and gross details of that, but basically, I couldn't use one of those stompers that you kind of have to really stamp on, like you see a lot of the old blues guys using. And uh, so, Tim made this thing with this problem in mind that, so it's kind of, it's like a, it's a low profile, so I can put my foot on it, and I can just basically tap 
um, and it makes a big loud thump. So ideal kind of sort of stumper for me. And um, and a little tip: if you're thinking about using a stumper, particularly one of this design, don't don't wear trainers. Don't wear nice going out shoes. Wear a boot. A docker is a, oh, I can't get a docker, especially a red docker, is kind of perfect. Makes a great sound. So that's that. So if anyone's got any genius, fantastic, brilliant ideas of how to, uh, oh, see, it says TG for Tim Gillespie, model longboard stumper. There we go. So if anyone's got, and the, the web address is on there as well. If anyone has any uh, genius ideas of how I could better do a demo video of a stomper pedal, then please send those ideas in. I'm just going to throw this tambourine over here. Right, okay, so. So that was a messy, rough and ready, unprepared video, probably full of um, nonsense and a bit of interesting information about uh, the cigarless guitar. So, there's going to be another part to this because, as uh, as a result of me kind of sticking this pickup in here, doing these mods myself, and uploading uh, a crappy video of myself playing this thing and showing off. Oh, look at this very clever thing I've I've done with this cigarless guitar, which by the way I taped back up with silver tape that uh, my friend Paul left here for some strange reason. Um, a, a few years ago I'd been making some glam rock boots for Clubland out of, out of this set. Anyway, I digress, as usual. Um, what was I saying? Right, so as a result of me uploading this crappy video of me playing this thing to a Facebook group um, where cigar box guitar fanatics discuss all things CBG related, um, I then discovered this company called screaming skull guitars and um the chap who runs this company and uh, having a bit of a conversation with him and um he offered me an endorsement deal so um i want to do lots of um promoting for that guitar because it's amazing it's over here um i have a new instrumental track coming out soon which i wrote especially to promote this guitar um uh, the track is called the hippie billy boogie i've uploaded it um you know up there somewhere and we're just waiting for it to be ready for um downloading on itunes and i will of course be advertising that and banging on about that when that's available it has lots of instruments on it and it's me playing absolutely everything and everything's a real instrument and everything's done completely live with no editing none of that um you know computer studio trickery nonsense uh, it's all just proper me playing live instruments in the studio with all the mistakes left in and um and it features this as the lead instrument so there'll be a video coming up all about this guitar from Screaming Skull Guitars. Put you back over there. Uh, and uh, so anyway, I hope this has not been uh, too nonsensical and uh, that uh, there's been at least a couple of minutes worth of interesting stuff in there. So send me more questions and keep watching these um, stupid crappy videos of mine. Thank you.